Good morning, early afternoon to my fellow nerds. Right now, I ate some cherry blossoms, except the seeds are stems in the middle because they're edible, and spring is bringing some beautiful nature, and I'm at Transmitter Park, Williamsburg, waterfront. And when you got to do your business, you got to do your business in a portable potty. But I'm not in a very good mood, and there's a boat right there. It's kind of foggy with big instability in the air, and I don't know if I could, like, zoom in. But there's the Empire State Building and some boats. And I'm at Williamsburg Greenpoint border. There's a lot of religious Jews here. And I have a similar video with Thomas, but, um... He hasn't... I don't know what happened. Someone told me he was dead. Well, he don't wear a helmet, and he wears a banana on a bike. That's bound for him to get, um skull injuries but um, I don't know what happened to him so I'll find somebody else it's a similar video but um you can see the smog over the city and the fog but I want to speak about what's bothering me today um I really do because I went here to clear up my mind I didn't really want to go back home until I had my day out um so what happens was um I went to go get something, I rolled up some thing, and I went to go smoke it. And not on people's properties, and this isn't the first time it happened. I shouldn't be getting away with it every day. On the other hand, there's the downtown Brooklyn skyline, there's the Manhattan Bridge, the Williamsburg Bridge. I literally needed a tranquilizer <laughs> right after what happened. It happened the day I went to family court, and then it happened last week, and then the third time. I didn't pepper spray anybody. This guy, like one of those alleyway stairs, he grabs me and tosses me in the street. And I didn't understand that. I was minding my own business, and I wasn't on people's property. And he goes, you know what block you're on. It's historical. I didn't speak to him. He, he flung my pocketbook in the street. As you can see, I'm dressed like the 90s from head to toe this isn't going to be easy to show this but um I got an idea as long as the phone don't fall in the water I'm back to rocking the 90s fashion again so um shake 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 your booty yeah so I was smoking some weed and I was in an alleyway, and it was nobody's property, and the construction worker that always hassles me threatened that if I ever did it again the first time, he'd beat the shit out of me. And then today, he threatened to beat the shit out of me again, and he tossed me in the street, and my arm is killing me. Yeah, it is killing me. So, um, I guess I'll never go on that block again. Um, it's really crowded around here. And that really shook me up today because I've been going through a lot and I'm recuperating by being home and I really, it's starting to rain and I don't really need any more commotion going on. I mean, you know, it's just, I guess I'll have to find a better place to do my janja. And he was trying to tell me that was K2 and it wasn't. I mean, I feel like my personal privacy was invaded, and it was my business what I was doing. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I filmed videos about hitting the bong before. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it if I want to chill on a Friday or whatever. But um, it's just maybe a place and time to do it, and maybe I should have um, done it on the street or whatever. But um, I love my hair and how it looks. And um, you can see the Empire State Building is getting fogged up even more. And like a point, it's right between there and there. Yep, right there with the point. It's a gray day. But I don't like being accused because that was not K2, because when I tried that before, everything spin round and round, and me and Nancy both ended down the train track. 
So me and that other red-haired lady, June, hung out together today. And we're getting closer as friends, and I don't know who to trust or not to trust. And, you know, friendships build up over time. You know, we like to do we together sometimes, you know. I mean, she has a daughter my age, but um, I connect with the older people. And I am heartbroken about being dumped by Nancy, but what can I say? It's a beautiful day. The flowers are out blooming. Beautiful nature in Brooklyn. They call it the Green Borough. I mean, I know I may have my flaws and downfalls, but I can't be paranoid what to put up online and what I'm going to say because this is like a personal diary. And here are some beautiful bikes. You see how green it is? It's a beautiful camera. I finally found my Coolpix Nikon 360 camera. And Harley took the battery out and I gave him my Obama phone, but you know. So here's the building around where I live zoomed in. Um, I'm on a galaxy phone. There's some picturists around. Is this Transmitter Park? What's the name of the pier that we're at? Huh? Dumbo. No, Dumbo's that way by the Manhattan Bridge. No, what's the name of this pier? Oh, this is a side way. Oh, it's like a tour. What'd you say the name is again? This is South Williamsburg. South Williamsburg. Like I said, I'm on the border of um, William. I mean Williamsburg and Greenpoint as I'm looking west-northwest. This would be around Greenwich Village across the river. And here's a view of the river alone. So it's starting to rain and I don't want my hair color coming out. And as you can see, if this comes through, then I did like RV, like on top like a magenta and how it fades out to an orange on the bottom as my bangs are growing out. But I can't let any of people bring me down anymore. I mean, I make mistakes and I learn from it. And it could have been a lot worse. He could have beaten the shit out of me. But And he don't even live there. He's a construction worker. You see how the orange is on top and but um, every day I get myself in another jam and I don't think that's like a very cool and I don't like to be accused of doing things that I'm not doing and uh, this is really this boat is rushing right here but here is a water taxi and my phone is starting to get wet so I think this is a different park from where I went with that guy um, because we were more toured over there or maybe on the other side, but um, this is a whole different video, and we're going to expect to get some good thunderstorms later. Looks like Gotham City right there, huh? <laughs> and I hope that they're severe enough for me to film and put on YouTube. I am learning from my mistakes, and it isn't very easy to do that. And um, I'm glad to be home with my child. I'm glad to be with my family, and I never want to end up homeless again. I mean, sometimes my own parent, well, people define anxiety and paranoia differently. But, um, you know, and uh, here's some more greens as a spring. And we get, we're at the end of April, and we roll into May, we're going to get some more pretty flowers. As Brooklyn is the green borough, and it's up and coming, and you know everyone on their phones today even though we're dressed like the 90s we're reinventing it but um you know Peyton List not the soap star the one that plays Emma on Jesse and her brother Spencer List are both from Brooklyn and I could hear it especially in Spencer's accent but in Peyton's accent I could hear it too even though they're originally from Florida they lived in Carroll Gardens and that borders Red Hook a dangerous area so I see why they're so tough but at least they're in the movies in Hollywood in the industry now. And before I go, there was something else that I wanted to discuss. Um, what was that again? I want to discuss um, some different things. You know, people coming around and show you how uh, 
the flowers are growing and you know there's water drops on my phone but I don't like people doing false accusations and that ruined my day and it ruined my high and I'm not very happy so I had to take it and do it on the other end of the corner because I'm a shy smoker um, green taxi, yellow taxi yellow cheese bus it's a heavily populated Jewish neighborhood I have videos very similar on Kent Avenue from last year um, I just hope that I get to keep the life that I have right now and it's about to start coming down so um, I'm gonna wrap up in a minute but um, I just want to show you one more piece of nature before I conclude there's a nice bike right there I don't mean to be all over the place but from like intermittently from November October 31st to March 15th I made only like two three videos and I, I've been off the job of YouTube because I've been going through so much stress and, and you got to understand my mother's been ill and I haven't been home and it's a big dream to be back home I mean it's a treat and I have to work hard to earn that and I don't want to ever fuck it up. I, my mom and I can't argue anymore. And you've seen in videos that we used to argue. And um, People are dropping their weed butts all over the ground. Disgusting. Ugh. Like I said, sometimes the things I find on the floor could be exciting. But I'd rather look up at the sky and stay down to earth. So here's some city bikes. You gave me the Brooklyn vibe, and I hope that my phone don't break. So when I come up to the corner, I'm gonna make my own little nature. And I hate when people tell me that I'm paranoid. There's a difference between paranoia and anxiety. Anxiety is fearing something is gonna happen like a lion chasing you in the street, which is rare. Paranoia is believing and that you're seeing the lion. That's paranoia schizophrenia. I'm on Division Street right now, and this water line like runs down. Yeah, it's starting to come down. So uh, this is the thing I wanted to show you. You see the buses are running, it's still morning, and um, I don't want to hang out with any like bad people so um I live around like down that way and this is the other part here where there's more water the park kind of extends because I got a long way to walk home so um you can see the green the trees are out the flowers are blossoming which I love to capture on camera which I did but not on YouTube only on like taking photos I bought myself some e-cigs. And I'm a tough girl now. No one wants to fuck with me because I ain't going to throw this into the street. <laughs> I am a very brave person. And you got to be careful of the guys on the bikes because they could be muggers. Mind your business! Yeah, he got mad I threw that thing in the street. Now you see what I go through? It's all about shock value. That's why I'm worried that this person could po is bothering me and he could possibly be a mugger. White guy messing with me. Not fun. And I'm in the middle of making a video and I'm putting him online and I'm going to embarrass him in front of the whole United States. So here's what I'm going to show you. The greens. The perfect light green not money green that is coming through with these flowers beautiful speaking of the yellow school bus and hot solar ambulances be beautiful yeah I do some things on videos for shock value but um I ain't gonna get my ass kicked over it because uh I'll pepper spray them I learned how to fight so um I've been through a lot and um, I'm more of the tough beauty guru, the tough thunderstorm chaser. I have a whole new image, as you see, that I'm dressed the street style. And I won't, and people try to mess with the Lisa every day, and I will not allow that to happen anymore. So 
now visibility is zero and we got more rain coming in so um i guess i'm gonna have to say toyota <laughs>